Good morning and welcome to River Talk. Um, I'm here with uh, Amos Brandeis, who is uh, representing one of several, many several different hats, uh, but notably the International Society for City and uh, Regional Planners, um, ISOCARP. And um, he's here today later going to speak about uh, urban river restoration and city planning. Uh, welcome, uh, Amos. Thank you. Um, I wanted to explore particularly some of the issues you're going to be dealing with uh, later this afternoon in, in your uh, presentation. And first, I just wanted you to explain a little bit your feeling about um, how, what is the real importance of river restoration in, in an urban environment? Why is this an issue that really deserves attention at the current time? Well, uh, water is everywhere. And all cities around the world were built either along uh, uh, rivers or along a coast or uh, a lake. And the water issues are very, very important in the urban scene. Okay. And um, in view of this importance, are there any particular challenges you see in trying to bring river restoration into an urban environment? It's more classically spoken about in, in rural areas, but uh, trying to bring it more central into a city, I think, is something relatively new and uh, innovative. What, what are the main challenges you see from your work? Of course. Well, uh, rivers uh, in cities were mainly ch uh, put in, cha in uh, channels, and uh, polluted, and now when river restoration uh, started uh, some 20 years ago or so, or even more, uh, rivers became lively again, became, uh, uh, became full of life, and now this is a real asset in the urban scene, and the question is how you make uh, a river and the waterfront along the river as the asset of the city and a place where all people want to be and celebrate uh, the river and the urban uh, structure and life. Okay, so it's, a, it's an exciting vision and added value to a city, but um, in terms of really bringing this vision into reality, um, who are the key actors and, and what needs to happen to make, make this really become a more mainstream uh, idea and activity? Uh, well, it's, it is a mainstream uh, idea uh, already, I mean, uh, Almost in every city uh, you would go, you would find the river is the core of the city. But the question is, and the main challenge is, how you combine the river restoration people and the urban planners, or how you make this as a one integrated issue. And uh, one of my main uh, messages here in this, uh, in this Congress is, is how we should work together in an integrated manner. I mean, to restore a river is like solving the Rubik's Cube. It is very complicated, it is three-dimensional, it has many different aspects. If you make one wrong move, you move backwards, and you, know, you need two hands in order to solve the Rubik's Cube. One is the leadership, and one is the collaboration hand. Now the collaboration is not only between river restoration uh, experts of the different disciplines which we usually uh, think of like ecology and uh, drainage and uh, uh, economy and sociology and so forth, but it's also with the urban planners because there are many different urban issues and architectural issues and urban design issues which has to be considered also. And the question is how do we work together? How we make the city better and the rivers better? Okay. And, and from your experiences, are there particular ways to stimulate the, this dialogue between these different, if you like, sectoral interests that you could share with us? Everybody knows uh, now how important it is, I think. And uh, it, we, we can see the proof by having river restoration uh, congresses dealing with urban issues. And, uh, for example, last uh, month uh, there was the uh, Congress of the International uh, Society of City and Regional Planners dealing with cities and water, so trying to, uh, uh, trying to um, uh, talk about the, the water issues in the urban scene. And uh, I think everybody knows now how it important it is. The question is how we work together and how we integrate it, because river restoration and urban planning, they are both very uh, uh, interdisciplinary uh, questions. They are both global issues and local issues. They are uh, issues of uh, transboundary and cross-border issues. There are many different issues which are really alike, but we have to work together. It's not the river restoration people there and the urban planners there. Okay, so integration and cooperation is the key for years to come. Uh, definitely, and also, of course, leadership. As uh, Actually, in all projects, you need leadership, because if you don't have leaderships, 
leadership, uh, you, you will not, never succeed. You also need, of course, money, and you need patience because river restoration projects and all of them projects as well uh, take many, many years, and you need a lot of energy, and uh, you need a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of belief in order to succeed. Okay, thank you. If we, uh, one more question I would like to on a slightly different subject, take you back to some work that I believe you were involved with some years ago. Um, in 2003, you were strongly involved in the uh, Alexander River project between the Israeli territories and the Palestinian territories, and uh, which won the River Prize in 2003. I was wondering if you'd like to share a little bit some of the lessons you've learned from being involved in that project uh, as regarding how to bring river restoration into rivers and the challenges you were confronted. Yeah, actually, I'm still involved in this uh, very interesting project. This is now 20 years since we started the project. So when I was talking about long-term projects and patience, this is a good example. I started uh, 1995 when I was uh, chosen uh, for, this, uh, for this project. I asked my client, why did you choose me? He said, one reason is because I thought we can work well together. The second uh, reason was because you were young. And uh, we knew this project would take many years. Well, unfortunately, I am uh, losing this advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, this is a very interesting project, the only uh, river restoration or environmental project with underground results in collaboration between Israelis and Palestinians. It is a cross-border river starting in Nablus, flowing through the city of Tulkarim, also a Palestinian city, and then into Israel, flowing into the Mediterranean. And actually, on the local level, the both uh, uh, mayors of both sides, of Tulkarem and of the region in, in Israel, and Akhrefer, realized that the only way to restore the river, or actually to improve the quality of life of, the, of their people, of the people who live there, is to work together and collaborate. And there we had exactly what I was talking about. We had leadership and we had collaboration. So now for about 18 years, uh, about two years after the project started, we started collaboration with the help of the German government, uh, and there were uh, treatment pl uh, plants built and uh, treatment facilities, and we met many times, including uh, many secret meetings during the hardest time in the Middle East. Uh, this uh, collaboration survived the hardest time in the Middle East. Uh, the first meeting we had was in, uh, in Munich in the middle of the winter, so it was easy for us, the, Ger the Palestinians and the Israelis, to agree on the first uh, point, which was Munich in the winter is not a good place <laughs> for people from the Middle East. <laughs> so we uh, approached together, the Germans said, we agreed on the first point, find us a neutral place in the Middle East. So the next uh, secret meetings were held in the most neutral place on earth, which is a German hospital in Eastern Jerusalem. We got the doctor's room and there we met five Israelis, five Palestinians and five Germans talking only about shit, only about uh, uh, the polluted river. And uh, since then we made a big progress. Well, there's still a lot of work to do, but this collaboration uh, proves that if people uh, want to live together and have the vision of solving the problem the local people without dealing with the overall politics, this can be done and results can be seen on the ground. This was uh, also the prize we won in 2003, but we have done much since then. And uh, as I said, much has still to be done, but uh, uh, the results can be seen on the ground. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time, Amos.